Hello, my name is Jorge Burguilla. I have worked in Instituto Tecnológico de Aragón, Nova, and I have a role of the developer. This is Rafael. Uh, I work with uh, Jorge in, in, in Zaragoza. We work in, in a small department of big data and, and analytics. And uh, we are going to, to talk about uh, problem, uh, problems that uh, appear when uh, work uh, software engineers and data scientists. So in my case, I'm going to take the, the role of data scientist. That is a, the, the, my main role in the, in the department. So the first, thing, the first thing when you are in a company and you want to develop a, a new software, a new software, and you are going to, to think about the new advanced big data, cool, recommender, intelligent, and smart so service, software solutions. So we start, and the, in the normal software factory, we start uh, defining the project manager. So the, the project manager takes the role of defining the team and take, OK, I'm going to take a software architect, or I'm going to take three software analysts, I'm going to say I need a programmer in HTML5, PHP, and Java Enterprise. OK, but now I need a data scientist. Because we need in this team the part of pattern recognition. We need the part of data analysis. So we start a problem. Because the data scientist, the data scientist, has different uh, skills, different personality than the programmer or the software developer. So we are going to take the, 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 the role of data scientist, and, and I'm going to say what I like. When, when I, when I uh, in my personality, in my like, in my studies, I, I have PhD, a PhD in artificial intelligence. I work with data. I love data. I love to pat, uh, pattern recognition. I love to identify the patterns inside the data. I love to program in R. I love to program in math, MATLAB, mathematics. And so I think the future, the future is a deep learning, because I think the future is in deep learning and to use the new technology in a Spark. In the case of, of Jorge. I like uh, another thing, uh, Rafa. I like the, the last technology in, in big data. And I want to put in practice uh, a, a methodology in the developing of software. I, I want to uh, ask, ask, uh, quality insurance or computer management uh, tools, uh, use tools like Subversion, uh, Jenkins, and Maven. And I want to create uh, unit tests and integration tests in all process of developer, Rafa. Yes, so you can see that there is different roles, different uh, personality, different skills in the, in, the, in the team. So we start the problems. The project manager should be deal with this, uh, these problems, with these issues. So we start with the, the, first, the first issue, the first problem, the studies, the skills of the different, uh, of the different persons in the team. In the case of, of uh, data scientists, uh, I like uh, mathematics. I study statistics, I study uh, machine learning algorithms. I, I like deep learning. I think it's the future in machine learning. I love, uh, I love Spark, like platform. In the case of Jorge. In, in the university, I, I learn different, different tools and different methodology of, of for example, uh, design partners and, you know, and distribute algorithms or different things than, than, than Rafael. Uh, that's the, the second problem. The, problem, the programming language. When, when, uh, when I start the development of a program, a development solution, uh, in my case, I, I will start with R. I like R. I like MATLAB. I like Mathematica. I think Python is the best language in the world for me. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are a lot of other languages, Rafael. In Java, and C++, uh, is better than Python, I think. <laughs> so, so we, we, we speak different languages. We speak, uh, perhaps we have the, the common Python language, but OK. But uh, one, one main problem is, OK, we don't start a, a solution from scratch. Normally, in software, in software companies, we have 
a lot of legacy systems. We have to maintain the same architecture, we have to maintain the same languages, so it's not possible to introduce new esoteric technologies in your, in your client. So we have to maintain the current architecture. We have to maintain the same technology in the, in the back end. Uh, okay, the first solution. The first solution for this, for this problem is we are going to make the Superman that data scientists. So I'm going to study uh, so, uh, software-oriented architecture, I'm going to, to study Java Enterprise Edition, I'm going to study uh, Agile Maturity, maybe. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want to uh, study Python, Rafael. <laughs> but it's, I learn and that learning, learning machine, uh, a, a lot of things, error, uh, mathematics, I, I don't like, but I study, all right. No, I think it's not a realistic solution. <laughs> Currently, it's not possible to study all other things and, uh, well, okay, we can change the university in the future in Spain. Perhaps we can make a, a new, Maybe a new degree in, in data science. I was. Okay, so we, we look for another solution. This is our solution, okay? So the first thing, we have to define new tools. New tools. We, we need to look for a common platform. So to resolve the problem of language, okay, we can use Spark. Why not we use Spark? Spark use, you can program in Python, Java, Scala, and R now in the last version. So perhaps Spark is a good solution. We need to look for, uh, to avoid the problem of the, of, the, of the studies, of the skill, we can introduce easy applications, easy utilities to deploy algorithms, to deploy models, graphical interfaces, and we can move to the workflows. In the first, in the first, uh, in the, in the fourth talk in, in Thursday, we talk about one of the trends, and the trends is workflows. We can define the models of data scientists in workflows in pipelines, but why don't you use a workflows model from the uh, software companies, the business processes modeling network? But perhaps we can use this language. And we need to convert these models, these algorithms, as a service. We can use um, software-oriented architectures. So in Itainova, we, we have our approach. We have uh, one a service, one solution that's called Moriarty that try to focus the data scientists in data, in data. We focus the information, we are focused, but the only difference is, is going to define the machine learning algorithms, the pipeline in new language, in BPM, BPMN. And we are going to use SPA as platform to deploy these BPM processes. And, okay, with this application, with our application, we convert this mathematical process, this uh, pipeline process, in services that the software engineer can convert in a final solution. That is our idea. That is what we are working now in Teinova, trying to, uh, try to make possible the collaboration between the software developer and the data scientist. Um, Okay, this is a summary, this is a conclusion. So the new role in the software factories should be included in the teams of developers. So we need to define new tools. We have to include new elements that make possible this collaboration in the team. So in that's all. Thank you very much.